Hello, hello, beautiful people. You are warmly welcome back to another week. I am so excited to bring the word of God to you. I want to take this opportunity to say you are welcome to the channel once again. For all my new subscribers, I see you all. I see all the new members of this platform. God richly bless you for joining this platform. And I hope and pray that you are getting all the knowledge that you need to apply in your life to see the manifestation power of God in your life. And for all my old subscribers, thank you so much for being here. You know how we do it. It's another week and I am here excited to give you that knowledge that you need yesterday i want to share with you the the spiritual benefit of salt but before i give you the benefit i don't just want to give you the benefit i want you to know what it, you know the salt uh, symbolize when it comes to the word of god so what i'm going to give you is what biblical knowledge something that is based on the word of god so that at the end of the day you will know that this is not coming from rose this is coming from the word of god and so that you can use it to your benefit you can use it to your advantage because it is it, it is meant and you know it, it, it is made for us for our benefit for our use so today i want to share with you the benefit the spiritual benefit of salt i know most of us here know the physical benefit of salt that we use salt in our homes every day. We use salt for seasoning. We use salt for taste. We use for salt sometimes to disinfect. We use salt for a lot of things in our homes. We use salt to give our food durability, not to spoil in time, to make the life you know, shelf of that, that food a bit longer. So today, we don't want to just Focus our mind on the physical benefit. I also want to share with you the spiritual benefit. I want to tell you one secret of the what of this spiritual life that we are living. There are so many things that are biblical, that are word based, that when we do or when we use, we can see a faster and and, and a approach of God, but we have just been made and put in a box as christians that so that our problems are solely based or can only be solved by what by prayer and fasting so anytime that we have a problem and we go to our spiritual leaders all they tell us is what let us pray prayer is good prayer is the best is one of the keys to what to getting to God and communicating with God to see whatever needs that we put before him what we can see a result of but there are other things aside prayer that we can do to combine with prayer so we can see our what our result when we look at the Bible we have seen prophets we have seen even Jesus use these things they, he, 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 they use these things that sometimes you need to decode yourself. They are not uh, decoded. They are coded. In fact, the Bible is coded. So it is left with you and I by the help of the Holy Spirit to decode it. So if you are not able to decode certain things, you can't make use of it. Some of this knowledge, our spiritual leaders are aware of it. But I don't know why they don't want to share it. But as for me, I said I have decided to share these knowledges because these things, I use them myself and I see results. I give it as a direction to people and by the grace of God, they come back glorifying God. So why can't I you know, share on this platform? Of late, the, 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 the messages that I receive, they are breaking my heart. I can see many people are going through a lot, a lot of trials, a lot of temptations, a lot of setback, delays, stagnations, and they are crying. These are the very people who are praying. They are fasting. They are praying at midnight, yet they are not seeing a result. It might be a very simple you know, reason why you are not seeing a result. Maybe the problem you are praying for, it does not, you know, it does not need prayer and fasting. 
it only needs some little things to do maybe to neutralize to neutralize that spirit that is tormenting you or to you know to not purify yourself or just go out and do good to somebody or sometimes it's just you know in giving glory and praise to god and you will see that result you know immediately but we have all, you know, put that on what prayer and fasting. So today I want to share this with you because it works fast. It works fast. Even demons have what they have given an account of this. One of the demons or oh, that I was teaching you the other time the, about demons the one confesses that when i he is in your environment or in he is in your life all you have to do is to what to throw salt around and the bible confirm it as well we have seen this story in the book of Elijah, Elisha, where he used salt to purify the spring in that city. And today, that is exactly what I want to you know to introduce to you: that when you have faith and you have the word of God based, and you you know apply it, you will see a result. So, if you are interested to know this, please stay tuned as I take this short commercial break. You are warmly welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are going straight to today's business. So before I start giving you the benefit, the spiritual benefit of salt, this is what I want to say. Salt in the Bible is very relevant and it has so many Bible references, you know, back in it. I want us to start from where I began about the prophet Elisha. When the prophet Elisha came to the city, the people ran to him and they complained about the, what? the spring or the river that was not producing no more. The fishes are not coming out. Just imagine this is a river or a spring that the life of the people are depending upon. Today, yours might not be that sea, yours might not be that spring, yours might not be that river, but there is something in your life that is dead. There is something in your life that needs to be purified. There is something in your life that needs to be healed so that you can see God. So that when you talk to God, you can what re receive response and answers. And one of these is what it sought. The Bible says in the book of Second King, the the, the, the Second King two twenty, and it talks about Elisha. And I want us to read this so that we know that it is very biblical. So let's see, Second King twenty, uh, Second King two twenty, and Elisha said, "Bring me a new jar and put salt into it." So they brought it to him, and then Elisha went to the spring of the water and threw the salt in and said, "Thus says the Lord, I not the sand, am I not the salt? Have purified and healed these waters." There shall no longer be death or barrenness because of it. So the water has been purified to this day in accordance with the word spoken by the prophet Elijah. This is what the prophet did. When they brought him the salt, he said you should bring him a new jar with what? A salt in it. This new jar is your new beginning that you're about to start. You don't need to go and buy a new, a, a new jar or a new bowl. The new jar in this contest, I want you to believe it to be your next chapter, your next beginning. It is a new time. It's a new uh, life that you're about to live when you apply this salt into your life. And they say when the, they brought him the salt, he raised it to God. He prayed over it. That is what I want you to do today. You are going to take a salt in your hand and you are going to believe and you are going to tell God that I am starting a new life today. You are going to pray concerning that issue. You are going to tell God concerning that issue. And God said, am I not the salt? Am I not the one that purified? That you are going to ask God as I threw this salt in my life. 
as I throw this salt in my house, as I throw this salt in my shop, as I throw this salt in, you know, the environment that you are, you are going to tell God to purify. You are going to tell God to what? Neutralize. If there should be any demonic spirit, evil spirit around that place that is tormenting your life, I want you to purify me. I want you to heal my life and I want you to give me a new life. And the Bible says that after the man of God or the prophet prayed, that was the end. That 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 spring, you know, became a life. That spring never gone barren. There's there's a healing that took place in the life of that that spring. So that is exactly that is going to happen in your life. If only you would believe this word that I'm telling you. If you are going through problem, if you are going through stagnation, if you are going through barrenness, just like we have read now, like that spring, you are using using yourself your body your destiny as a point of contact and you are going to pray and you are going to cast that that sand and uh, sorry the, the the salt after you have prayed over it and you are going to believe that from that day something is going to happen my dear i have tried this if people have forgotten about you especially your destiny helpers if they have forgotten about you when you do this just wait and see what will happen if Truly, they are your destiny helpers and they have not been calling you. Don't even mention their name. I don't want you to help God. Don't just leave and everything to God and do this the direction. Salt represents covenant. When you read in the Leviticus, it talks about not just even covenant. It's an everlasting covenant. God understands covenant. I'm going to leave the scriptures on the, the screen for you. Go and read them. Go and ask the Holy Spirit to give you the insight. Because if God is saying, well, with your green offering, with your green offering, put salt on it. That means that even God knows the power of of salt. That is why he was directing the children of God that when they were bringing him the sacrifice or the offering, they should put salt upon it. And that salt is going to represent him as a, what? A, a, an everlasting covenant. The Bible says we are the salt of the earth. That if the salt loses its taste, it becomes useless. That is why you need to pray to bring that salt alive. The reason why you are experiencing all this negativity is because there is no salt in your life. You have missed or you have lost the salt part of your life. Salt is, you know, represent durability. When you have salt, you know, when you have salt in your home and you put it on certain food, it doesn't, the, those food doesn't go bad. It keeps what a life stand or the lifespan of that food longer or it makes it longer. It makes it, you know, you know, it, it, it stretches the age or the time of that food so that that food will not, will not go bad. When we talk about salt, salt can also represent as what healing it gives healing when you have souls i remember being a child in the olden days or in uh, back in africa they use salt or sea water to bath when you do that you know it's going to kill it is going to make that that soul going to what it's going to you know die and you are going to see a very quick healing in your soul so that is why salt is a very important when we come to the physical side of life but when it also comes to the spiritual side of life it is very very important and very you know powerful and i want you to do that what you are doing is you are neutralizing the spirits around that are not of god i told you even demons confess there was a demon I was you know, treating about last week confessed that when he's around your environment and you throw salt, he will run away. He doesn't want to become what? Salt. Demons know the power of salt. They don't want to become like what? Like a Lot's wife. So instead of them to become salt, they prefer to go and torment another person. So they will not come near salt where salt is salt sometimes in the bible is considered as a symbol of god's faithfulness and god's purification 
the power of purification that is what salt stands for so my dear for those of you who are sending me these messages my heart is breaking i want you to see a result that is why i'm making these videos in my next video just to encourage you just to motivate you just for you to know that what i'm telling you is, is you know is powerful i am going to share testimonies personal testimonies and testimonies of people by the grace of God that I've given this direction to and they have done it and they have seen the results. If you have been, as I said, if you have been, you know, experiencing stagnation, nothing is working in your life. Your shop, you can you are not selling. When you do this direction, my dear, you will come back to give glory to God. I want to bring it to the end of today's video thank you so much once again i want to encourage you to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed because this platform is going to give you a lot of knowledge that you need to succeed in the kingdom of god things that your leader your spiritual leaders don't want to you know they shy away they don't want to tell you i am ready to tell you all so do subscribe so that whatever information i have in the future you can get notified and you can you know have this knowledge in your life shalom peace